talk about alternative medicine, you can't get much more alternative than cannabis, medical marijuana. What's your thought? Yeah, I think I always think of that as the, uh, I refer to it as the quintessential alternative medicine topic. So it's, uh, there's some scientific basis to it. There's some clinical studies, may have some beneficial effects. It gets very politically charged. It raises ethical, legal issues. Yeah, it's the uh, classic alternative medicine topic. Like I was saying, there's some underlying science to it that's quite intriguing. So in the 1990s, very solid research established uh, a couple of things. One is that there are very specific proteins in the body that cannabis molecules bind to, mm -hmm. and that's how they produce their effects. And those molecules are on nervous system cells, and they kind of tone down nervous system activity. So could possibly help for things like muscle stiffness or pain where there's too much nervous system activity. Also those protein molecules are on immune cells and when the cannabis binds to the proteins the immune system gets mildly suppressed so in theory could be helpful for the disease process of MS. Uh, and then the other thing that was identified in the 1990s is you know those proteins don't exist just in case someone smokes marijuana in their lifetime. That indicates that we all make our own marijuana-like chemicals. So some very interesting biochemistry to it all. There have been some studies in animals and humans with MS that have raised suggestive findings, but there still is nothing definitive about cannabis helping symptoms of MS or the underlying disease process. Uh, there's a very rigorous study done and being done now with more than 500 people with progressive forms of MS in the United Kingdom looking at uh, cannabis treatment. And we should have the results, I think, in the next year or two on that.